Right folks, we're in the kitchen, something a little bit different today. We've actually gone out and bought a pizza oven because Jimmy had one in his half of the garden and we were so impressed, Sharon, weren't we? Yeah. That we've actually got one as well. We got this one from Vivor. We'll leave a link in the description below. Oh, and it always phone goes when you're on blinking camera, Sharon. Right, so we've been, we got some stuff, Sharon. You got some pizza base? Yeah. Some pizza dough. We've got some ready-made bases. These ones are low-carb ones, these ones here. They're already pre-cooked, so we don't know how they're going to turn out. What else you got, Cher? Sourdough pizza bases. And this is actual dough, isn't it, you yeah. bought? So you've had that in the uh, fridge or freezer. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. And that's just been proven. Oh, it's quite sticky, isn't it? So you've got to flour it. And yeah. Well, I like a meat feast. And you're preparing some little sausages here, which you just cut up, folks, as you can see. So, uh, well, while she's doing that, preparing stuff, and your babysitting Frank, aren't you? <laughs> What's that dog, Merlin? Away. None for Merlin, Frank. They're, no, it's sausages. Right, so let's go outside and show you what we bought, folks. So, I've literally just unboxed it. I've laid it all out. This is the main pizza oven body here. And this had a protective film all over it. So did that part, so did that part, so did this part. And that took me about half hour to peel all that off of there. So uh, that's just something you've got to consider. There's a stone base there and all the other ancillaries. So this time I'm going to look at the instructions. I'm going to put it all together and then we'll come back when it's all done. You don't want to see me do that. I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay, I've put it together. It probably took about 10 minutes or so. And uh, one thing to note is that these edges have got sharp edges, folks. I did actually give, a, give myself a little cut on my finger there, but uh, so just be wary. You might want to wear gloves when you put it together. As you can see, there's not much to it at all. Just give you a quick run through there. Right, let's have a look. The only tools you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. They do provide us a little tiny one in the uh, screw pack with you, but um, I actually brought my own. So let's show you what other extras they send you with this as well. So we appear to have some uh, oven gloves there. We seem to have a serving tray. That will come with it. That's your pizza thing for putting it in the oven. The platter, I suppose. And although this thing come, there's no indication on the... Um, drawings what this is but looking at it I think that goes through there like that where you can have uh, like square pizzas and you can put them in that way so that's what I think this trays for although there's no mention of it in the actual drawing plans whatsoever they do give you a pizza wheel it's not a very good quality one but it will do the job I would imagine and also a little a scoop for your wood chips so looking round it the chimney is a solid bolted on job. You do have a thermometer on the top there, which reads degrees centigrade and degree Fahrenheit. So just taking the door off now and looking inside, we had to put these two runners in. Again, they're just bolting from underneath. That's not a problem whatsoever. That is your pizza stone there. You want to be careful you don't break that at all. And um, also that baffle plate I had to bolt in the back there. That just separates the uh, pellet fuel drawer from the main chamber, I suppose. So just sits on there like that. Four legs are adjustable. You just undo that. This was a bit wonky first of all, so I've just undone that little leg there and that's made it solid on the uh, tabletop I'm using here at the moment. Don't forget there's going to be real no heat under here, folks, so it's sitting on a glass table. I won't worry too much about that. Coming around the back here, Again, a carry handle, and round to the rear. This is where you put your fuel in there. We're gonna be using pellets today, and uh, you just literally put them in there, light them, put them in there, and then it comes up to temperature. You will see some of these pizza ovens with another tube there, where you've got a little trap door which you open and fill up that way. I don't personally like that, because if you open the trap door there, there's so much heat's gonna be rushing up there, 
you, you could burn your hand when you're pouring pellets in. So I, I prefer this idea where you just literally remove the tray and just top the pellets up there and then put it back in. So that's no hardship whatsoever. And all in all, it looks to be pretty good. That just goes in there and that's it. That's the pizza oven built. Okay, so I'm not gonna be cooking it on the table here. Obviously people are gonna be sitting around here. So I'm just gonna transform, transpose this now over to a Black & Decker work, mate. Put it on there. Just give it a little bit of a rock. And if it's not level, as I say, you just undo the wheels, the, the bottom of the feet, and you can level it straight up again. There we go, that one there. Turn that one down a bit. And there we go, solid as a rock. So coming over here, folks, this is what we're going to be using as the fuel today. It's actually called pizza fuel, which is pizza oven pellets. And also to get it started, we've got these little, they're called flamers. They're just sort of bits of straw, I suppose, from wood chippings rolled into little um, balls. And uh, as you can see, my son's already got one, so he's got his little scoop in there. So let's go and get our pellet tray out of the back which literally just sits here. We'll bring that over and we'll get some of these little pellets in here and literally put them in your trough. Don't want to overfill it, mind you, but uh, there we go. So that's there. And we're going to get one of these, again, flamers. Just stick that in the middle like that. And that should hopefully get it going. And the quickest way to get it going is with a, well, I've got this sort of burner, like that. And it's really, all I'm going to do is flame that up. There we go. And that hopefully should be it. So I'll put that back in. There. Like that. And you want to wait about 20 minutes or so. You leave the front on. We should see that uh, start to rise. And uh, I'll come back to you when we've got some action. Right, been on for about 10 to 15 minutes now, I suppose. Let's have a look at the temperature. So we're up to probably 250 degrees Celsius at the moment. Apparently this thing, you want to start cooking at around 400 degrees centigrade, but you want your stone up to temperature first. So if I just take the door off there and have a look inside, you can see that the flames now are coming up the back there but you want that temperature on that uh, cooking plate to reach about 300 degrees it's only up to 100 at the moment look see that 120 so we're going to carry on till we get up to temperature and we may have to top up with pellets as i say because it's going to take a while to get that stone up to that temperature and what's happening over here hey eh? <laughs> what are you doing you waiting for your pizza frank you really waiting for your pizza? Yeah. Yeah. And what about Nanny? Yeah, I'm looking forward to my pizza. Are you? I like pizza. Yeah, we just phoned Lee up, haven't we? Oh, he's let us down. He's let us down again, hasn't he? He goes, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I can't wait to come. I've forgotten, though. He's just phoned him up and he's Did forgotten. you see this person here? Yeah. He's going to eat your pizza. Of course he is. Yeah, baby. He's lovely, isn't he? Yeah. Mind, mind your nut, Frank. Mind your nut. <laughs> right, OK. So... If we need to top that up, folks, you literally just sort of pull that tray out like that and whack, whack some more in there. So I'm just going to do that. And I will put some more in there. Just sprinkle, get away Merlin. On like that. And then whack it back in. There you go. Right, Jimmy's done these before. What's the stone up to? 320. So the stone's up to 320 now, folks. And we've moved it out into the, uh, the, the shade now. So this is our first one, and we floured the um, actual pizza spreader ourselves. So you've got to just get that on there like that. All right, let's get the door open. In she goes. And it's all technique, this. And you give it a little jiggle, and off she comes. Pizza's in. Right, and you time this for how long, Jimmy? About a minute, turn it a minute. So we're looking at the clock now. And believe it or not, folks, it's just, start, it's just started to rain. So we've got to pull the sun hood out. Hopefully it gives us a bit of shelter. Yeah, we were finding that we were struggling to get up to temperature because it was sitting out there and the wind was blowing straight through it and uh, burning the fuel out. So we're gonna give that a minute on that side and then we'll take it out 
spin it round and cook the other side. So bear with us. We'll try and do it live if we can, shall we? You've got your toes got to be the time to tell you, it? No, not yet. Bah. Let's turn it round again. So very important folks to flower your paddle. If not, it will stick to your paddle. And although that's dropped to about 320 degrees, that zoomed up so quick because it was around 250 all the time there and I actually fed it with pellets uh, about four or five times and it wouldn't go above that. As soon as we put it here, within a couple of minutes, it was up to temperature. Right, so we're about a minute now, Jim. It's been in for about a minute, folks. He's just floured that base again, so let's just take that out. There we go. So just zoom it under quickly. Stop for the right. Yeah, you pushed it too far back, didn't you? Ah. Just spin it round. Ah. And put it back in. Pizza. Get it off. Yeah. Leave it like that. But that's so important, folks, putting that flower on there, because you need to be able to shoof, give that little sharp, sharp movement to get it off. Right, let's have a look at this now, folks. See the flames along the roof? That's what you're looking for, folks. So let's get that in there. Oh, how about that? Look at that, folks. Superb. So I'll put that on. Can you see that sizzling on there? Look. Absolutely lovely. That's Frank's little pizza, that one. So you might not get the perfect pizza the first time, but you will get better the, uh, the more you're doing. But as I say, make sure that your thing is floured. And underneath, if we can go underneath there, look. See it's cooked underneath, folks? That's why you need the stone up to temperature. But honestly, you, you'll taste these and you won't go back to shop bought. These are fantastic. Let me take that in the kitchen to Sharon. Baby Frank's in his eye chair. Get the spatula. And you'd rather eat a car, baby Frank. Right, so we've got 300 degrees on here now, folks. Jimmy's got another one on there. Let's just whack that one in, as you can see. Don't put it right to the back, because it will stick and burn. There you go, and that's it. So you're looking at two minutes? Minute, turn it, minute. Yeah, so we're going from a minute, let's say, in about five seconds time. Right, so 12 minutes, want that in at 13 to turn it. But uh, yeah, once you get going and get the routine, folks, and you've got all the pizzas made up, it makes life a hell of a lot easier. And everyone can just basically choose their own pizza toppings, like in the kitchen, top them all, bring them in and out and before you know it you've got a conveyor belt going so you're not waiting long at all you're only waiting a couple of um minutes at the most three minutes between pizzas so you know nothing's going to get really cold we've got 30 seconds to go and we should be turning that but don't push them right to the back because we've actually we've done that on the first one and we've got some pizza stuck on the baffle plate at the back you've got about 10 seconds left 40. he's flowered that up again look folks yeah, that's the most important bit because otherwise you're sticking all over the place. <clears throat> so let's have a little look here, look. Right, okay, that's been in for a minute. Let's pull it out. Just a quick little jab in. Pull it forward. Can you see already how already that's cooked, folks? Look. Yeah? So you just want to literally spin it. And if you ain't got the flour on there, you'll struggle to spin that. So whack it back in. Like that. Back in. Literally, we do this one and we'll pull it out at 14 and a half minutes, folks, okay? Just to give you a proper indication of the timing. So we're still up to 300 degrees on there, as you can see, folks. So, yeah, definitely taking this out of the, the draft means that the fuel is heating up a lot better. So that's a little learning curve there, which we didn't know about because when we done Jimmy's one before, it was in a shaded area, so we didn't know that. Right, you're nearly there now. There you go, 1430. Right, let's have a go, Jimmy, see what it looks like. That's two minutes that's been in, folks. Let's have a little look. Oh, look at that, look. That's the beauty of having that stone hot, folks. You need that stone hot. And we'll just put that on, and we might just tap up what touch the, a bit of fuel up. So sometimes, folks, if you get too much ash build up in there, you can just empty it out, or just take a bit of it out. That's what we've got there. And then just top up with some new and then start your burn again. But the most you're gonna be waiting is gonna be about 20 minutes, isn't it? Shouldn't take that long now, it's been yeah. warm. Top one of these in as well. There we go. Yeah, we're down to 250 now. 
but it's all part of the fun folks so Sharon's doing another one now as you can see it's a little factory here at the moment we've got onions we've got tomatoes we've got the cheese we've got mushrooms the passata base or the pizza sauce base little bits of sausage mix we've also got um, pepperoni all that sort of stuff so Jimmy's got his one there and uh, there's another one over there ready to go who's that one Charlotte right so this is my one Sharon's making now this base is already pre-cooked it's a low calorie one which not a low, low carb one there we go it's made with sourdough this one so as you can see it's got a low sugar content on there so that's why i'm having it well all these are, actually that's sourdough because you could have had that one yeah of course i could have there's one she's loaded up there look folks look at that look so they've got that one there you've got my one here which is a meat feast you've got pepperoni to go on there as well chef yeah, yeah, look then I'll top it off with the mozzarella. Oh, lovely. Mm. Look at that. Oh. Frank's enjoying these over there, look. Aren't you, Frank? Is that nice? There's Charlotte's one there, look, already made, ready to go. Sharon's one's ready to go there. And my one is loaded. Now she's topping it off, folks, with mozzarella. So, are we ready, Jimmy? He's just going to give it another couple of minutes, folks. And then uh, we're going to do my one next, year. No, bless Charlotte, she's been to work. Oh, sorry, Charlotte. Yeah, you can have yours yeah. next, Charlotte. Yeah, 300 degrees. So in we go, folks. Look, in there, and then sharp jolt back, and out she comes. Time for two minutes. Right, so 26, so 27, we'll turn it around, folks. Right, OK. Just over a minute, folks. So whack it in. Good sharp jolt, Jimmy. That's it. Just spin it round. Look at that crust cooked already, folks. Whack that on there. Look, I dropped off that one. There we go. Oh, it's hot. That is hot, isn't it? Whack it in there. That's it. Oh, went too far back. That'll burn that end bit. Bet it don't. Well, there's flames it, on it. Got it on camera. Bet it don't. All right, let's see. I'll oh, just keep the heat in. Right, go on in. That's another minute. And there she comes. Two minutes in total, folks. Oh, look at that one. Look. That's Charlotte's. Just a little bit burnt at the edge, which I did say. Yeah? Am Perfect. I right? Perfect. Of course it is. Yeah, my one, the base is already cooked, folks, so maybe it may not need so much, but you've got to have that stone up to temperature. That's the main thing. There's my one. Look, it's already on the base, look. So not towards the back so much, please. That's perfect. I'm happy with that. There we go. Look at all them flames, folks. So, again, another minute, folks. Here we go. Just to show you folks the temp, look, it's up to 350 degrees centigrade on there. And that is perfect cooking temperature for these pizzas. 350 to 400, they reckon. So this is about, about a minute uh, in about 10 seconds. Okay, try it. Let's have a look. There we go. Wow. So in underneath. Shove it fast. That's it. Out. Wow, look at that, look. See that, how quickly that burns, folks, at the back, look. So not so far back. There you go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So we're taking it at 31.50. So 31.50, folks. Take it out. This is my one, folks. Don't forget, this base was already cooked. So let's have a little look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Wow. Can you see how quickly that's cooked, folks? Look. That is superb. And now, although we're still up to temperature, he's just going to put a few more pellets in, just to keep the temperature up. Put the door on the front, and we'll be, we should we should be laughing. Look, just another sprinkle of pellets there. Look, just keep it going. You ain't got to go mad and overfill it. Perfect. Right. Okay. <sighs> right. I didn't have the camera running, folks. I thought I recorded it, but I didn't. I've cut it. I've tried it, but I'm going to do it again just for you. Let's get a bit of this. Oh, let's get a bit there, look. Yeah, I just filmed that, folks, and I didn't have the camera running. Never mind. Mm. Oh, God. That is a taste sensation. We've got everything on there. This is a sourdough pre-cooked low carb base I've got here, so that was already cooked. The ones that we've done before are fresh dough, which we've already bought as well. We've got little chunks of sausages on there, we've got mushrooms, we've got tomatoes, we've got the, the fresh basil, two types of cheese, cheddar and mozzarella. We've got the pepperoni. 
we got the spicy uh, tomato base there and that is absolutely fantastic no, I'm not the problem oh. man that's on you and you do get the smoky taste because it's got smoke in that cooking chamber as well. And it makes all the difference, folks. Sharon's just doing hers now. Jimmy's still doing some cooking there with him. Huh? You got a chunky little one, Sharon, haven't you? Yeah. That's probably an eight-inch pizza, your one. It's really inflated, your one, isn't it? Me. <sighs> That's going to be hot. She's got stacks of topping on that. Well, it's just fluffed up, I think. Yeah. Go on, in you go. In you go, baby. You always like me to burn my mouth, don't you? No. Look at the size of that. Oh, be careful. Well. It's better than any takeaway pizza or anything. You happy with it? Oh yeah. As we're sitting out here now in the rain, Sharon, in the rain. eating pizza. This is Jimmy's fault. Of course it is. So there you go, folks. That's our little Vivor pizza oven. Just keep the pellets topped up. Keep the stone topped up. Don't leave the door off. Let that stone stay at the temperature. And you'll don't be well good. Out in the draft, like you did. And don't have, I said that about having it out of the draft, yeah, because it couldn't, wouldn't build up to temperature. As soon as we took it out of the draft, it built up to temperature. That's why built, pizza ovens are built in them things, aren't they, all enclosed? Of course they are, Sharon. Well, there you go, folks. No doubt we'll get better at making them. That's just literally our first time mining Sharon's. And uh, we're very happy with it. And how easy it is to light, and how easy it was to put together, really. <laughs> Cleaning shouldn't be a problem, because you just slide that stone out, and uh, you can took that to the sink, and then Watch just wash it down. You won't go for shop anymore. Well, you don't need to, do you? That's right. hundred times better. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go now. We'll see you in the next video, folks. Don't forget to take a little binge watch of our videos. You'll thoroughly enjoy them, I hope. And if you do enjoy them, hit that subscribe button. And it shall. Oh, yeah. And we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.